In this video, we're going to um, take another look and review at um, how to solve one-step equations. One-step equations are things like x plus 12 is equal to negative 2. Okay. In order to solve this, I always have to think, how do I get x? How do I get the variable by itself? Well, if I'm adding 12 to undo that, I'm going to think about subtracting 12, taking away 12. So then I left with just x by itself. The positive 12 and the negative 12, they cancel out. They add out to 0. So then on the right-hand side, I have negative 2 minus 12. So x is going to equal negative 14. Now what you'll notice is you have to think about the equal sign being like the dividing line. So when I place the negative 12 and the negative 12, I have to have 1 on each side of that divide. Okay. So I get x is equal to negative 14. So I check. What's negative 14 plus 12? And I get negative 2. Okay. So this was an example if I had something being added to the variable. Let's take an example where I have something being subtracted from the variable. Okay. Once again, I think about having kind of the divide around the equal sign. And I notice that from the x, I'm subtracting 4. To cancel, to get, kind of bring it back up to 0, I have, or back to x, I have to think instead of subtracting 4, what if I add 4 to both sides? Well, having a negative 4, or subtracting 4, and then adding 4, this adds out to 0. So I'm left with x is going to equal what 10 plus 4 is, which is 14. So these are examples of one-step equations. I can also take something and multiply it by a value. Let's say negative 3x is equal to negative 2. Okay. And if I have something being multiplied by x, if I divide by that amount, think about what negative 3 divided by negative 3 is. Well, it cancels out to 1. So I'm left with 1x is equal to what negative 2 divided by negative 3 is, which would just be positive 2 thirds, because the negative divided by a negative becomes a positive. So I'm left with my answer, x equals 2 thirds. What if I have a number x being divided by 4, or I can also rewrite that as x over 4 is equal to, say, negative 2. Well, instead of dividing by 4, if I multiply both sides by 4, the 4's cancel out, leave me with x, and then I'm left with the negative 2 times 4, which is going to be negative 8 for an answer. Okay. So hopefully this has been a good review. We did this quite extensively last year, so I'm hoping that you'll remember how we went about doing this. Um, and then in addition, um, you have a little bit of practice. So basically it's just looking and saying, What's being done to the x? Is it being having something multiplied by it, something divided by it, and then doing the opposite um, operation? So if it's multiplication, it's division. If it's division, it's multiplication. If you're adding something, then you're going to subtract. If you're subtracting something, you're going to add on to it. 